Hi everyone. June 6, 2019. Very frustrated. I had highlighted a lot of comments underneath this video that I posted last night. Never seen anything like it. Severe weather erupting all over. Well, the highlighting got messed up and then the comments. Oh wow. All right. Uh, comments written by one subscriber would end up uh, repeating underneath other subscribers names so forget it but I I want to focus on one comment or two comments that I got uh, two subscribers from Louisiana focus on what has happened in Baton Rouge and then focus on our mainstream meteorologist meteorologist who are truly, you know, I hate, I've always hated calling people idiots, morons, uh, stupid, but at this point, when you have people who are quote unquote professionals, considered to be educated, and they are laughing at people who are who are knowledgeable about the weather modification that is taking place, I'm sorry. Um, there is something morally wrong with them and something uh, wrong with their brains. They are stupid. At th that, That's the best that you could say. They're evil if they are deliberately lying because people are getting, well, People are losing their lives, not only their property, their homes, their businesses. And um, I am, yeah, I'll say it. I, I feel like I'm at my wit's end at this point with people who just refuse to take a look at what is truly, uh, they refuse to engage in reality reality here able-bodied I am in Baton Rouge Louisiana out of the blue yesterday my pain all over became almost unbearable I couldn't even walk my back hurt so bad thought about going to the ER for some pain help I believe now my extreme pain is related to the frequencies that are being used in uh, these weather events and underneath no rain no rainbows okay I'm in Lafayette my home flooded in 2016 it's pouring rain my road is flooded and water creeping in my yard hope Baton Rouge is faring better able-bodied uh, responded praying it won't continue raining today for you all or here just roads, not houses flooded here. 2016, every house I knew lost everything in Baton Rouge. 2016, it can't happen again. It can happen again. I'm sorry to say. It can happen again. So what happened? What happened in Baton Rouge? sunk so low that we can no, no longer use our brains? Yeah, I guess so.
So, massive flash flooding occurred in Louisiana. Um, and yes, it can happen again. And looking at this repeatedly, Um, watching they need it, baby. This is a hot mess. It's rainbows. I keep telling you that. The transit bus takes on water. Hmm. What the hell is going on? And look at that woman. Uh, maybe she's filming. Okay. Um, you know. None of this will stop. Mm -hmm. This is going to get worse and worse. Why? Because we've got mainstream meteorologists. Mainstream meteorologists who are, are they are reporting lies. Um. We have mainstream media reporters reporting lies. They will never report the technology that military has been using to um, to use weather as a weapon. So we have ordinary Americans laughing at, a, at us, calling us names. We have meteorologists laughing at us, calling us names. We've got reporters laughing at us, calling us names. And you want to, they all have blood on their hands. Every one of them has blood on their hands. Uh, you know, So I want to hear from No Rain, No Rainbows and Able Body, Bodied. Um, please let us know how you are. I drove down to Baton Rouge in 2016. I interviewed people who lost everything. I interviewed some people who had moved to a non-flood plane after losing everything in New Orleans uh, during Hurricane Katrina and they lost everything again in 2016. They moved to a non-flood plane because they didn't want to lose everything again and there they were taking everything outside their homes. having lost everything again. And of course, moving to a non-flood plane, they didn't have insurance. Okay. Um, one dead after flash flooding. You have blood on your hands. Every mainstream media reporter, meteorologist, all the government officials who know that weather modification is a very real thing. In fact, state governments hire commercial weather modification companies to perform rain enhancement, snow enhancement. Listen to this. Um, here he is talking about the weather in Baton Rouge area, but I don't know if you're going to hear it or if it's just a little bit before, and he talks about the flash flooding in Denham Springs. It can happen again. You know, we focus on the big cities. Well, we, mainstream media focuses on the big cities, Baton Rouge, um, New Orleans, Houston, those areas that get flooded out, Tulsa, 
Oklahoma City. There are so many areas surrounding those big cities that you just don't hear about on national um, mainstream media news reports. So I'm driving into Baton Rouge and I stopped uh, what did I take there? I guess highway. Uh, I'm into state 10. And right before Baton Rouge, I pull off in Denham Springs in 2016 because I wanted to see this pilot where you know I would be you know, sleeping in my car at a pilot. And it was at Denham Springs. So I pull off Denham Springs and I swear to you, I felt like I just, I, I don't, it was so surreal because I wasn't in Baton Rouge yet, but I pull off the interstate and all of a sudden I'm looking at what? I don't even know. I'm looking at no stoplights working. I'm looking at the curb of the streets and there are, there's so much well, first I thought, what is this? You garbage furniture? What's going on? I had no clue. I drive a little bit further. I can't find the pilot. When I do find it, well, I can't sleep in my car there. Flood it out. Um, and I, I make a turn on to side streets. Every home, every home had been flooded out their belongings on the curb. I was in Denham Springs. I didn't know Denham Springs had been flooded out as well. The flooding was massive in 2016 and guess what? It can happen again. And I'm so sorry. Folks, welcome back to a Talk 27 Your Time on a Thursday afternoon. I want to give you a, another look at just some of the stories, some of the happenings as this storm system uh, pulled through. Have a look and listen here. This is video coming. Uh, this is Government Street near South uh, 18th Street. You hear this? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You hear that woman saying it's okay? That's our general manager, Lana Corrente. Actually, she helped this woman, uh, gave her a dry spot to sit and got her the heck out of the floodwaters because her car was going, look how fast that's moving. Again, this you can okay, hear. Come on, come on. Look at that. It's okay. Um, oh. Again, that's our general manager uh, getting somebody to uh, to dry ground because it was literally a river on Government Street. I've talked to a lot of folks already this morning who've been here as long as I have, and certainly longer—16, 20, 25, 30 years. They've never seen water like this. On never seen water like this. Never seen water like this. Please, please start questioning why you are seeing weather like this, water like this, please begin to think beyond mainstream media. Bring back your ability to think uh, for your own self instead of letting mainstream media think for you. And you can see these shades of orange indicating five to six inches of rain. In fact, we've got some rain gauge numbers that are confirming seven inches of rain. And most of that in about a three hour window, we had one and trying to track it down one unconfirmed report of three and a half inches of rain in 30 minutes. Did you hear that? Three and a half inches of rain in 30 minutes, seven inches in a few hours. Okay. Uh, One person drowned. I, I oh. they are using weather as a weapon. And I don't, it's very obvious now. It's so obvious that it's like, it's so heartbreaking to see this microbursts microbursts of winds, flipped cars. Oh, it must have been a tornado. And we're seeing this all over. I will link below. Now, this is just the Baton Rouge area. 
just the Baton Rouge area. And I have no doubt there are more areas that, because I'm focusing on Baton Rouge, that's what I've been seeing. I have no doubt that Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Texas, perhaps Arkansas, and other states are facing communities in those states, and they're looking at pretty much the same thing. Now, flooding wind damage reported in Baton Rouge, severe weather. Weather. So, that we are seeing this over and over and over and over and over again. You would really think that people would begin to wonder what's going on. And they don't. Weather is being used as a weapon. Now, my car flooded in Baton Rouge. What should I do? What should you do? I don't think people have flood insurance for their cars. So many people have lost cars. And then they have to buy another car. How many do you know that have that kind of money today to do that? Not a lot. Not a lot. Sorry. All right. Um, listen to this. And I want to thank Jim Lee for posting this video because it really is very, very uh, revealing of our immature, uh, just despicable mainstream media meteorologists. That's the problem today. Americans are stuck in seventh grade. And we do need to do that work to pull ourselves uh, into the age that our actual body is, you know, match it with that brain. Get out of being a little immature teenager and begin to act as responsible adults. All right, weather, weather modification, modification history. history. That, that is just trouble. And I get to ban someone. Yes, this is great. So we get to ban. So these are mainstream meteorologists who are uh, answering questions that they are getting on other social media platforms, probably Twitter. Ah, so somebody asks about weather modification. And yeah, chief meteorologist Mike Kohler. I get to ban you. I get to ban you uh, just from that question about weather modification. No, I get to ban you because you're stupid for bringing up weather modification. And then, thank, thank you for joining us, us. And, and we get to ban you. Weather, weather modification, modification history. history. Don't believe any of that junk you see. I just leave. I don't believe any of that junk you see. These, these are the people that Americans listen to. I don't believe any of that junk. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Junk. It's just junk. That's why I spent eight years posting on that junk. Junk. It's all junk. All right.
Well, I guess it's just junk to, um, let's see. The Texas Weather Modification Advisory Board admits it can make a ton of rain. This video I posted June 2018. You, you see, see this guy? guy? I don't know his name, and I believe he is the Weather Modification Director. I might be wrong on that title. This man, a friend, subscriber, of mine who lives in Dallas, Texas, called him. She called him. And the response that she got, if I'm remembering correctly, she said he, he, he was like a child, he was laughing, and he was uh, dismissing what she was saying about the weather modification. This is the man who is in charge of weather modification in Texas, and he was dismissing everything that she was saying. This is what he said in an interview. This summer? This summer. You, you succeeded in increasing rainfall? Uh, south of San Antonio, we had aircraft flying on a dozen days in the month of July, treating what we deemed to be seedable storms. And what was the result of that? Uh, the same result that we've seen since it started in 1997. Some clouds respond very well. Some clouds respond only to a limited degree. Maybe one or two instances when uh, one or two instances when clouds didn't respond as we had hoped, probably because we got to them too late. And when you say they responded very well, what does that mean? It means that the storm lived longer and produced more rain over a larger area. Did you hear that? They can create rain over larger areas for longer periods of time. Think Harvey, four days. And it flooded out over a million homes. This is the destruction that we are witnessing every with every weather event. And we still are. And guess what? That same subscriber that I was talking about in this video sent me this video. Here. June 6. June 6 just posted the meeting of the Weather Modification Advisory Committee. And the same guy is reporting on the great success of 2018 seeding of the clouds and listen to what he has to say. Uh, there were a total of 945 burn in place glaciogenic or silver iodide flares and 161 burn in place uh, hygroscopic flares and Dr. Ruiz said the average number of ice nuclei per liter was 75 which is a little bit below the optimal of uh, 80. The number of, or the amount of acre feet per water produced by these small clouds that were seeded over the course of the season at those four target areas was 138,769 acre feet. Uh, that's almost the long-term average of uh, seeded storms over uh, about 16 years of 144,669. And his analysis breaks down the estimated increase in rainfall from cloud seeding per project in the Panhandle Groundwater Conservation District, which is based in White Deer near Pampa. The amount of increase in rainwater from seeded storms was 16.1 percent that translates into a little over uh, almost two and a half inches uh, over the course of the growing season a, a quite appreciable amount of rainwater i would add uh, for the west texas project based in san angelo the increase in rain from seeded storms compared to what others on non-seeded storms generated was 12.4 percent that's nearly two inches more than the typical growing season amount in south texas 14.1 percent 
or nearly one inch of additional rainfall. And in the Trans-Pecos area, uh, an increase of 2.7%. Uh, that translates into about a quarter of an inch, not nearly as many seeding opportunities when you go west of the Pecos River last year. Okay, I have to pause you for one second because somehow I thought I was right on uh, the time that he said one particular thing, so hold on. Okay, I think I have it now. Uh, for, for instance, instance the, the average life of a seeded storm was 40% longer than the non-seeded storms that were in the neighborhood. The area of the rain event, the amount of rain deposited on an area of the surface was 35% larger than what we uh, would anticipate. The rain volume was 41% more than what we observed with non-seeded storms. Okay, so they are seeding clouds to create more rain for longer periods of time over larger areas. This man has been saying this for years. But we have, oh, yeah, you know, uh, we have these despicable liars on mainstream media that are laughing about even just cloud seeding. Leave them up there. You can just just uh, ignore them and uh, get them out of here. I've never had a, I haven't banned someone in a long time. I finally got to pull out the ban, the ban button. Hey, and I banned somebody who's talking about the truth. Wow, aren't you cool, Mike? Aren't you just so friggin' cool? Oh, wow, man. You know, look, uh, a lot of people think that, you know, I need to calm down, I need to do this, I need to do that. Um, you need to get outraged. People are dying, okay? So, uh, let's just use this analogy. Somebody comes to your home, breaks in, and with a gun, shoots your, your child. Are you going to be outraged? And the people who are outraged with you, are you going to tell them to calm down? Get it. What we are experiencing is an unconventional war. And people are dying, and children are dying, and their homes are being taken from them destroyed okay please you know the, the 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 really interesting thing about Americans that I've observed for decades is they never respond appropriately to tragedy they want to just shrug it off make light of it and go on I guess because it works for them it doesn't work for me hey Casey do they ever cloud seed in the area no uh that is no no they don't cloud seed they don't cloud seed okay so somebody will say well maybe they don't cloud seed in this area they do just please do some research instead of uh, just you know thinking that your opinion uh equals evidence equals facts. It doesn't. And I don't like the fact that facts and evidence are being made obsolete. Your opinion is fine. No, it really is not fine. And you want to go with your opinion? Then you have blood on your hands at this point. Not a thing. Um... So, uh, let's see, the account is called Weather Modification History. I see your questions. I'm not going to be responding to them, though. I've, I've had dealings with um, folks who asked the same questions before, and they've been very rude and have, um, you know, taken my responses the wrong way. If you do have legitimate questions, whoever's running that account right now, um, you can send me a private message, and I'm happy to, to discuss with you there, but I'm not going to get into an, an argument about, um, well, your account says weather modification, so I'm not going to get into an argument here about weather modification. But if you'd like to have a discussion, I'm open to that. Just send me a private message, and we can do it that way. Oh, God, and she's so civil, isn't she? You know, uh, 
she's so civil because she wants to continue to lie. She wants to continue to just report whatever she is told to report. She doesn't do any reporting on, hey, weather modification is real. Mainstream media, uh, the bizarre thing is mainstream media has been reporting that it's real, uh, but then we just go back to the lie. I mean, it's, all right, um, how do you deal with this time period? I don't know. But these people are despicable people. A couple of showers left uh, near Ellicott City, but the, the flooding rains have ended. So now the, uh, clean, the recovery, first it's going to be obviously a rescue. Then the recovery and cleanup after that, which obviously will take, given history, months, months to recover from an event like this. And, and uh, what the long-term solution is, I, I don't know. Uh, why don't they overseed to reduce precipitation? You know, when we were talking about precipitable waters at above two inches today. So I, I don't know how you would overseed without causing flooding somewhere else. There's just too, there was just too much available. Okay, so this guy admits seeding actually takes place. Oh, but this one, uh, no, no. Uh, she is, she should not be in the position that she is in. That's it. And nobody should listen to her. And she should not be taken seriously because she is not a serious meteorologist and she's the chief meteorologist stuck in a position because she will follow orders. No, it's not just the police and soldiers who are the order followers. We have order followers all over and they won't do the right thing because, well, if they did the right thing, they will be fired. So the paycheck trumps morals in the individual. And we see that all over. We see it all over. So this guy also, he's just <laughs> yucking it up. Call, Call up the rainmakers. I hear you. Did they ever try to modify the storm? Yeah, yeah that's what those chemtrails are for. They're up there just, you know, checkerboarding everything. <laughs> oh, my God, James. What are you? Are, uh, did you graduate elementary school? Or did you make it to seventh grade? Because this kind of behavior is seventh grade behavior. And, you know... Weagle's in control of all of that, and he's at home with his two joysticks, and he just controls all the weather that goes on. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. That's, you know, that's the way it is. Yes, they used to try it. I know that's what you guys always hedge your <laughs> arguments on. This Project Storm Fury. They did it all of like four or five times and it didn't really work out. So uh, it didn't really work out, so they just gave it up. Waste any money on it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Aren't There's you, a good idea. Worth aren't you really trying. smart? Aren't you really intelligent? But wasting more money on it now. I'm not wasting any more money on that. Project Stormforge Fury. It didn't, it, what they were doing in Vietnam, it wasn't successful. That's why Congress held Senate hearings on what they were doing in Vietnam. And it, during those Senate hearings, our military admitted that they were cloud seeding, that they were modifying the weather in Vietnam to create more rain during the monsoon season to flood out the uh, Viet Cong trails and roads. Ah, they admitted it, and this guy says that they're not successful. They weren't successful. They gave it up. <laughs> yeah, James. Yeah. Oh, uh, how could anybody take this guy seriously? Really? Okay. Here. 
Oh man. Okay. I don't know what this weather modification history. Is that something? Is that a thing? Cloud seeding? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had a class, a applied climatology class, where they did talk about cloud seeding. Um, and also, like, trying to, well, this is so cool, I'm going to nerd out for a second. Okay. So, um, they were trying to, like, <laughs> get rid of the oh, oh, I, I don't know. I'm the chief meteorologist. I don't, I, there was a class that we took cloud seeding, but I don't really know. Are you kidding me? Like, like trying to completely demolish this hurricane by like seeding the cloud or something and it ended up we don't know if it's related or not but it ended up making this hurricane last for like a month just spinning in circles in the atlantic so they're like oh this how do they cloud seed what do you do with planes you, you just oh, brought planes. fly planes through the clouds I, I guess i wasn't paying close enough attention oh i guess i wasn't paying close enough attention who the hell knows these are the people that americans are listening to these are people in positions, yeah, they, they have a title, Chief Meteorologist. All right. It is unbelievably uh, just, you know, look, it's up to us to, you know, bring back some maturity, um, intelligence, wisdom, all of that kind of stuff. And the, the first thing that people need to do is get off your TV. You know, I, I have people here in South Carolina who actually say, the TV told me. The TV told you. So, what does that mean? The TV told you? Do you not have a brain to think for yourself? I guess not. This is the chief meteorologist. I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't just really paying attention. Who the hell knows about cloud city? And they do it all the time. All right. Just two minutes of this. Now, that is really the original way that Tesla discovered uh, back uh, shortly before the turn of the century in his Colorado experiment. Mm -hmm. Now, this kind of a way can be easily made in the laboratory and it can be proven to exist and you can use it. But I want to tell you a couple of things you can do with it. If I take uh, something like a pencil beam radar, something that transmits a very narrow beam, uh, and if I cross two of these beams, this kind of a wave can be used to do some things like influence the weather over an entire hemisphere. Okay. That is retired Lieutenant Colonel Tom Bearden who was an expert in our military on scalar technology. Scalar technology is one of the ways in which they influence the weather, control the weather, create tornadoes, uh, bring about flash flooding. So it's not just cloud sitting, but these morons Americans prefer to listen to. Right. Right, ah, weather modification, I'm just going to laugh in your face and I'm going to ban you and, you know, you're an idiot. Get off my show. Uh, don't even talk about weather modification. No. Because we're instructed to follow our orders and never talk about man controlling weather. Texas Weather Modification Association. We have a National Weather Modification Association. I have many, many videos on my channel showing the evidence, all of the evidence, the black carbon dust that can be dumped into the atmosphere to create heat waves, um, LGB, talking about how, oh, Man, if man can control the weather, he can control the world. Well, guess what? That's exactly what they're doing. So you want to stay in your little bubble of lies and ignorance. You want to stay listening to these seventh grade reporters. You, you, you really want to stay low? Go for it. But you then have blood on your hands. You help to destroy you help 
to destroy people's homes, businesses, their lives by you remaining ignorant. And yes, I am very tired of it. And do I have, you know, somewhat of a, um, a personal relationship with my subscribers? Yeah, it's, you know, this cyber world. Well, <laughs> I don't like seeing my subscribers get hit. And guess what? You know, for the first couple of years of my uh, posting, I can't remember any subscriber who had suffered the consequences of what we were all talking about here. And there was a normalcy bias going on with subscribers who were awake. And there was this idea that, well, oh boy, it's a shame, but it's not going to happen to me. And then it started happening more and more to my subscribers. And So able-bodied and no rain, no rainbows. Let us know how you are doing. All of you guys in areas, let us know how you are doing. But I will tell you, one subscriber who had to live through her home being flooded out in Harvey, uh, in, in Houston, um, has never really recovered. All right, all links are below. All links are below.